before you actually, you know, glue it, you know, see what angle it, uh, you know, it bends best at, so that you know you should glue it at that angle so it'll bend straight. Cause you know these rotting. All right, so um, you're gonna want to, you know, hold it down while you while it's drying, and I suggest you know you wait to for about like two to three minutes for it to dry, and uh, it should dry. And so once you're done with that, you know, just mess with it a little, you know, bring them both down. You know, it should look like these two fingers. And as you can see, it may not be, you know, the straightest, but when it bends, you know, it bends a good amount of straight, <laughs> you know. Um, as you can see, this is extremely curved. So when I glue it down, you know, mine is going to be crossed like that. But, you know, whatever. Because, you know, it bends extremely well for a really curved thing. So, um, let me put this glue down right here. Um, you know, this is just a reminder. Be careful with the glue gun because you have very severe burns and it will it will burn a lot for about a good 10 to 15 seconds. You just rip that off of there. Once it's done burning and it dries on your finger. Fortunately, not leaving a mark. All right, you know, so as you can see, it's crossing over like that, and it's all curved. But you know, when you, I believe, yeah, when you um, tape this part, it should, you know, end up being cool. So it'll be like that, and then you can do like, make it to where it's cool and straight. But it's gonna go back there, regardless. You can only, you know, fix this whole area. All right, and now let's do le pinky. And you know, you wanna see. And so as you can see, um, you know, it's too far off. So you're just gonna, you know, cut that last part off. Size it. There you go. Looks amazing. Um, and make sure, like the hot, like with the hot glue gun, be careful with the knife too, cause if you're un if you're as unfortunate as I am, you're gonna cut yourself, like I did, and it really hurts. All right. Okay. Um, now, what we're gonna do is, you're gonna need cardboard as well. And, uh, you're just gonna take some tape. And, um, yeah, so you're just gonna take some tape. And you're just gonna wrap it around the four, the bottom of the four fingers. Let me show you. Alright, so now you've got the tape. You're gonna wrap it around here. Good. You know it'd be even cooler though if you did this if you're, if you're doing this. Um, you know to get to this and then get some duct tape. Look, I'm about to get some duct tape in a second. I'm gonna wrap around here as well, and then wrap some electrical tape over that. So you know it looks pretty. Well, you know not pretty, but cool. It looks neat. It looks spiffy. One. As you guys can see, I uh, put all the string through the cardboard part, which is going to serve as an arm. And which, and the reason we're doing this is so, um, as you can see, we're going to be like that. And we're going to use the cardboard to make like triangles or something. And, you know, so hot glue it from right here to right here, and then right here to right here. So that'll hold it up. And then what we're going to do with the square is that's also going to go 
and we're gonna have tape and it's gonna be taped from here onto here so that'll hold that up so then you, you'll be able to hold it like this and then while you're holding it like that you know you can just um, have the little loops right there and you'll be able to pull a finger at a time or whatever and that's how it works so uh, let's do that and now you kinda gonna you kinda wanna cut it into like little see as you can see um, this part was right here well it was like this you kinda wanna cut it into like maybe a trapezoid somewhat of a trapezoid you know so it can serve as like that so it can come from this part up to here and hold it yeah so we're gonna have it like that and then um Alright, we're gonna put it right here, and then uh, it's gonna be like that, and that's gonna hold, that should hold that up, and then we might add another one, like right underneath. So, uh, so what, you wanna, what you're going to want to do is, you're gonna want to take the hot glue gun, mm -hmm. and then, you know, you're gonna hot glue this part to it, so you're gonna just put it like, like that, yeah. Small dots like a boss. I'm just gonna wanna put this on it. Just wanna hold that, you know. So um, I'm about to cut this because you know, just so we can differentiate 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 the ones we actually need from this thumb. So there we go. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm about to I'm about to uh tape I mean not tape but hot glue my uh, my little square here onto the arm. And you hold it there. Okay, now that you can see, I have uh, glued it on, so this is stable. And which, and when you do use this, you're gonna have it like you're gonna hold it like this. And with the square, um, we're gonna cut it down to length, but we're gonna make loops out of this, so you can fit each finger. And then, well, these four fingers, and then you'll be able to exercise it. I mean, not exercise it, but you know, use it. As you can see, I um. I made the loop for the, the pinky one, and uh, what you're gonna do is, once you have all of them, you would put your arm, you would put your, you know, your hand around here, and then fit the loop into whatever finger that is. And as you can see, if you look at the um, the hand, it pulls like that. And if you go back to my uh, the square, where my pinky is pulling, where my pinky is pulling. Oh, okay. Um. It works. Since the pinky, since the first uh, loop was for the pinky, it was okay that the loop is this skinny and this small. But these others do need to be a little bit bigger. And since we could, we could have waited to cut our string this short. It, in fact, it would have been great to have about another inch or two in length, just so we could uh, have more to play with while we looped it over mm -hmm. and then looped it through and then make it as tight as we like you know to a good size of a and then we'd have that like that but we didn't we didn't wait and then we could have cut that later right we could have cut that excess length later but we didn't do that so now the best way to make this loop would be not by folding it over first but to go ahead and tie it through and uh pull it pull it through Fold it the first time through, then the smaller one. They should make a movie about this and call it Looper. Shoot. So, and before I pull it tight, you Boots. can see how. 
before I pull it tight, 